Hey guys, I'm Mr. John, and I'm gonna tell you a story using Legos. That's right. A long time ago, Jesus was teaching his disciples how to pray and not give up. Now, we all know that Jesus taught in parables. So just like the rest of his lessons, this was a parable. Now remember that parables are stories that teach us a lesson about something. Now, the best way for me to learn something is by using Legos. I don't know why, it just works, okay? So this story is a story of the persistent widow. All right, class, listen up. Here comes a parable. Judas, stop counting your coins in class. Now, the Bible says that a certain town that shall remain nameless, well, we actually don't know what this town was called or wherever this town was, but wherever it was and whatever it was named, it had to have been a pretty rough town. Dude, I'm totally gonna hit you with this croissant. <laughs> there was a judge. <laughs> that didn't fear God or care what people thought. Psh, God. <laughs> hey man, I don't care, get out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's right, an elected official who didn't care what God said, what God thought, or what he told his people, or what anybody else thought. I know, crazy, right? I said I don't care. In the same town, there was a widow Hello, dear. Now, someone did this widow wrong. We don't know what it was. That's not your llama anymore, lady. <sighs> I am not your father. Oh no. A new member of the Ugly Club. What, what, what? Uh, you look as old as I do. Excuse me. Give me all your money, crap. I just got my new glasses in. They're called Persistent Prescription. <laughs> Four eyes. Oh. What's the matter? You some kind of square? My croissant. Whatever it was, it had to have been bad. We know this because the widow came to the judge that didn't fear God or care what anyone thought and said, Grant me justice against my adversary. Now, for someone knowingly to go to someone who doesn't care, I said I don't care, and seek justice, this has to have been a bigger problem than just a little misunderstanding. Now, for a long time, the judge would ignore the widow. So yeah, first, Your Honor, I put down fertilizer, then I mow my lawn. I'm persistent. Over and over again, the widow would plead with the judge. Yeah, I'll have a uh, decaf, triple grande, uh, extra foam, extra hot, light caramel drizzle, comma. I'm persistent. Ah, uh, my first case. I'm persistent. Yeah, so how'd you get this peg leg? Well, actually, I was minding my own business and this lady came out of it. I'm persistent. I'm persistent. I'm persistent. I'm persistent. I'm persistent. I'm persistent. Then finally, the judge said to himself, oh man, I better just give this woman justice, but she better give her what she wants or she won't leave me alone. Will you give me justice for my adversary? Remember, I'm persistent. Jesus finished the story by telling his disciples this, listen to what the unjust judge says and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. He used the widow. I'm persistent. To describe how we should be. And the unjust judge. I said I don't care. To describe a cheap two part Kmart off the shelf, help yourself, no good, hand me down kind of God. I know. You know, and we all know that we serve an awesome God. Jesus wants you to see that even if a poor version of God will provide what we need, how much more will a perfect God provide for us? Oh no, I hope they don't forget me. I'm persistent.